Welcome back. This is why in the morning. And of course, uh, my name is Ram Aguko. If at all you're just joining us, this is the next conversation of the day. It's all about matters concerning uh, 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 your relationships today on this morning conversation. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house. Keep talking to us. The hashtag is why in the morning at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel. Today we are asking the question whether it is okay for a man to uh, receive money from a woman that, she, that he is dating from the girlfriend or from the wife uh, in regards to you know uh, handling his affairs is it okay as a woman uh, to take care of your man financially well, as a man are you okay being under her care let's talk about this particular issue i am with dennis masharia who is uh, next to me karibu sana dennis and of course, uh, to my far uh, right, I'm with Simon uh, Mbugwa, who is an artist and a small-scale business person. Karibu sana. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And of you. course, uh, the hashtag as always is why in the morning. Keep talking to us. What do you think about this particular issue? Is it okay uh, for a man to be under her care? Let's talk about this. Let me start with you, uh, Simon. Uh, uh, mm. What do you think about that? Is it uh, okay for a man to be receiving money from uh, the woman, the girlfriend or the wife? Uh, hey, Mr. Ram, uh, like Nikitu, first of all, it depends. No, no. Kama wako in a, kama ni marriage sana sana, wana marriage unzapata, maybe the guy, maybe alikuwa a job, no, no. Alafu, maybe job ikapotea. Uh, in that situation, in Zakwa, maybe he could allowed in some way. Come mm -hmm. in marriage. Mm -hmm. But if they are dating, yeah. like when I joke to date, like kill him, see a kokuake. No, no. Jama ako anaka kiviake, and then the lady anaka kiviake, like, oyuko pamoja. Mm. Marriage peke can do means the same, like, uh, madam anafa a provide a jama. But in terms of dating, jamaa mm. nafatu waji, haji shugulisha na mamba yake, unawana. But, but you guys are dating, you're, that's your girlfriend, that's your, mm. uh, your dating. So it, mm. it, it is uh, not okay if uh, mm. anakupate pesa. Halafu ya na depend ni do ya nini, unawana. Mm. Wezi kuja na like some, some weird reasons, like maybe unataka pesa wende do nda ama nini, unawana. Mm. Uh, maybe, maybe kwenye kitu genuine. Unaona kama labda uko msiki kitu kama hiyo but wewe kuja hatunaitisha dem wewe kama chali unaitisha dem pesa vitu zenye like as it makes sense maybe vitu tu just for fun mm. eh yeah. right uh, -huh. uh Dennis actually like he said uh -huh. depends but personally uh. I wouldn't agree a lady be giving me money all the time because according to the topic it's being under the lady's care mm. completely mm. entirely mm. actually there are repercussions for this mm. because one thing there is there are different forms of respect okay and a man needs to have his own respect you see man's respect so if the lady is taking care of you kila wakati unapata so uko nje ujui chenye anasema unaelewa because maybe atakuwa anaambia watu ah yule mwana umekule ndani mimi namfu namfuga unapata so your respect kama mwanaume kuna vile imeshuka hadhi yako because you are you atani kutoa sokoni because unaibika uko nje your friends everyone seeing you as if you can't handle your family matters and everything unapata mm -hmm. so that's one reason why you shouldn't accept a woman to take care of you completely so um like like about how na pesa you don't have money how na do exactly kama una do utafai so exactly. una una nyenyekea unasema <laughs> mimi nimekubali unilinde so that kunye kunyenyekea paka lini unaona hmm. utanyenyekea paka lini you see you need to stand up as a man look for something to do ili at least ya kileta 1 2 3 and nawe pia unaongeza 1 2 3 pia unapata hmm. you see this is a hand unapata hmm. and if this hand has, in case, say, let's say, the thumb is not there or maybe another finger, it's hard to grasp, to grasp something, okay? Mm. And like when all the fingers are there, okay? Mm. So you as a man, you need to provide at least one, two, three, and then her, she brings it to the table for five mm -hmm. for the hand to become complete. In that, that hand supposed to 
put to push your relationship and keep you going you see oh, I, I, I love the example of metwa it's all about big under her care mm -hmm. and you've said a hand five fingers yeah you bring one two three and she brings four five mm -hmm. what if you bring one she brings okay. two three four no, five no <laughs> let me tell you no that's another thing that's another thing yeah okay you bring one yes you see you're a man okay okay you've brought one today she has understood but why be bringing one each and every day and you're a man you are a man. There's a reason why you were born a man and she was born a woman. Let's go back to the Bible. Okay. Okay. At, at least let's let's be let's go back to the Bible. Kiasi. Uh -huh. Man was created first. Woman was created after the man, okay? Mm -hmm. And okay, I'm not familiar with the verses, but I'm certain and I've ever read Mali Kwamba, a woman was given to a man for the sake of being a companion to the man mm. or rather the helper to the man right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so uyu amepatiwa na mwenyezi Mungu kama msaidizi si we si si eh, si we ana anasaidia tu anasaidia tu kusukuma gurudumu la maisha na kusaidia tu unaona mm -hmm. so there is the moment you 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 forget your roles and let her take over your roles you're not being a man she's becoming the man and honestly tukichimba vizuri hapo unakosea when uh, uh, Simon, um, when you are under her care, does it mean that mm. she becomes the man of the house and you become so? Oh, nakuwa nini? Oh, like uh, oh, uh, kiti. Unajua, wacha ni na nini? Na Kiswahili ndi at least najua. Maudzwe ngi pia wa Iceland ona skia. Unajua mta, mta kwanza majamo se ma mtaani like wakuwa na we una. We kila kitu tunategemea madam. Mm. Like wana kubeba ndogo, wana kutharao. Mm. Eh? Eh, wase uze mati umewekua. Unaone yu kuwekua. Umekaliwa. Eh, umekaliwa chapo, umewekua. Mm. Mm. Na ikuwa ngi kitu fitu. Kwaza kwa igu ya jamaa. Wajua kama like ume, unaprovidua kila kitu. Na mabeshte zako wanajua. Uwezi enda hapo mtai vi ati hatu jichoche ama nini. Eh? Mm -hmm. Utajichocha ndiyo like. But wase chini ya maja utakua naona ahu msesi ya nani ni. Anawe kwa lai kuki. Wanzu shato kapu hivi. Wanaza kukugu. Kukugusi. Puna cheki. Mm. Mm. Na ina kukugusi pasa. Sima beshte zako. Wanaume. Eh. Kuhuzi. Wanajua vizuri hu mse. Mibi unakaa mta. Sindio. Madama hakuna job fit. Eh. Oh, Wenu kukaa mta ani. Hakuna wat, mkona watu ywa dogo. Hmm? Eh. Weka muna job. Wendi utakuna. Una take care yao akidi. Unapeleka mtoto shule <laughs> saa moja. Kifika saa, maybe saa kumi hapo uendo na muendea. Unamudisha. Mm. Madama natoka job jioni, maybe kitu saa tatu anakamu. Mm. Lazima kupate kama umepika sapa. Mm. Unaona? <laughs> Kozi ya metoka kazi, unaona? So, <laughs> so like you... Itapide, sao. Um, like you inahaji. Wano mbake nyumbani. Yeah. So, like ile... For, for a real man, ufai kuwa kutegemea madam sana. But in marriage, unajua in marriage, kwa marriage ni, situ, ni situation tofauti. Kwa marriage, maybe mlipata na kama nyote mnafanya job. Alafika afika time, uja maa, kazi kai, ikaisha. So, uja maa ki, akitegemea madam simba. Because ni kitu ina, like ni kitu wa inafanyika. Unajua, ni najulia iswali, um, <coughs> ni kuja kwa kwa. Kama mtu anategemea <laughs> dem, unasema you're saying she's the one who should pay for your rent, she buys you a food, she buys you uh, 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 nini, uh, your clothes, kama ni manguo viatu nini, she's the one who gets you going. Kama umekosa fair, nakumbia, enda saka job, shika hii, enda saka job. Um, does it mean that you are less of a man. And then, Nataka address this stereotype that wanaume, uh, that men belong to this particular area and women belong to this other area, shouldn't we, you know, move forward from such stereotypes and say, you know, a man can do this and a woman can also do the same. Kama ni wongozi, mwanaume anaze kwa kiongozi, manam kepe anaze kwa kiongozi. Kama ni kulata pesa, mwanaume anaze kwa pesa, manam kepe anaze kwa pesa. Honestly, to be honest with you, mm -hmm. that's next to abnormal. Okay? You see, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. We have cultures. There's some cultures that we need to evade from. Others, 
leave them alone but there's some cultures that we still need to cherish and continue being living with them like okay. the role of a man like and the, the role, role of, of a woman. man and the role no mm-mm. not 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 in that dimension mm. about saying the role of a man the, the role of a woman mm. we're going to bring even the house chores there you see so yes. anyone can do any house chores but we're talking about the providing for the family okay mm. or rather maintaining your relationship as a man and a woman who who you, who, who you are you're in a certain relationship see mm. so in that relationship well, as long as financial is being concerned majorly a man needs to take action okay mm-hmm. so the moment the moment the, the woman becomes say the breadwinner every time that makes that person less of a man but the good thing is that it doesn't happen to many relationships you know sometimes circumstances might, might allow maybe it's because this person had lost a job or want to or something had happened okay mm. first of all i would like to object to what my friend said yeah, yeah. because even in marriages even in marriages a man needs to stand up as a man Okay? Do you know some this can also be a reason of cheating? Do you know if, why? If if yeah. if you don't stand up yeah, as a man. Yeah, do you know why? Because why? let me tell you something. In the pillars amongst the pillars of a marriage, the pillars that support a marriage, money, no, let me not say money because that would be a bit of greed, but financial stability is one of them. Call it as it is. Money. Let, let's call it financial stability okay. stability. Uh-huh. Okay? You know when you say money mm. you're going to say maybe you might be having money but maybe the woman's very greedy wants you to have more money so let's say financial stability right. so you're saying the reason why i'm uh, uh, my, uh, why i'm uh, uh, cheating there is, is this because now let me let me let me let me let me show you how uh-huh. so in those pillars of that hold a relationship or even a marriage there is apart from sexual satisfaction mm. there's financial stability so if you can't provide for this woman she's the one who's taking care of you all your needs ni yeye pekee anakutibu ukitaka nguo ukitaka chakula ukitaka fare chochote yeye ndo anakutibu si ndio so anaona nini kwako now let's to rudi na mambo na part of the sexual satisfaction so how can you tell her not to cheat you yet you can't provide for her napata mhm this woman might be having different sources of bringing her income maybe kazi yake and other secret sources ambazo pia to do unapata mm. so anazitoa wapi unapata aha uh-huh. you see would you person anatoa wapi sasa sasa um, times, you, you don't have any command or authority over her mhm because kuna vile utaongea ufukuzwe unaona asawe tu unanyenyekea tu mbele yake lakini lakini ni mbaya kama mwanaume pia wewe uh, he, he gave an example she goes to work you remain with the kids you take care of the kids you take the kids to school you pick them back in the evening you clean the house you do the house chores alafu unapika so that when she comes back she finds the f- uh, uh, you know the food ready would you be in a position to do that tunaweza fanya hivyo Okay, I don't see I don't see any bad thing in that mm-hmm. because nyumba pia ni yako, watoto ni wako, lazima uwatunze and everything. No, no, no. We don't we don't want to bring a situation where by uh, at mambo ya nyumba ni mwanamke peke yake anapaswa kushughulika. Unapaswa, unapata, unapaswa kusaidiana, you see? Mm, okay. But mm. for how long? Is it supposed to be kila wakati? Let's talk about that aspect of cheating. Do you think she will cheat on you just because she has more money than you and uh, okay. you losing control over her? Mm, cheating. <laughs> I think story of cheating inza kwa ni maybe if maybe kuna mali ayuko satisfied. Unaona? Mm. Eh uh, story of cheating inaweza kuja if she's financially stable, if ana get do sana sana cheating ina kujanga maybe in terms of attention. Unaona? All right. Maybe you don't give her attention alafu pia kuna <laughs> kuna kinaitwa sexual satisfaction pia unaona mm-hmm. eh, cheating inakuja attention maybe like una mu ignore tu <laughs> yeah uh, like umpati zile compliment unajua pia madem wanataka anga ile ku, ku, kuoneshwa attention ile like una mu appreciate yeah. so cheating it okay if we first of all sexual satisfaction na pia like umpe attention na mu appreciate kozu ku nje unajua kwanza kama ni madama koko career she's a working class lady utapata si anaenda job kila wakati mm. wewe uko home 
akienda huko job unajua pia kuna ma colleagues wake maybe akiwa kwa barabara alafu unajua au madam wana au madam wa career madam anafanya job wanakuwa like madam amengara unaona so akiwa hivi lazima kuna watu watampeza ile compliments wanamuonesha attention nini mm. so si amengara eh. asa lazima wamsifu mm. she is like a flower mm. will you be okay with that as I'm, just as I'm just saying, I'm because if the lady is taking care of you, there's a size of it to a mother. There's some story that I've heard that there's a story that I've heard that Madame has been sent to a mother. A mother has been sent to a mother. A mother has been sent to a mother. A mother has been sent to a mother. Ah, this is my friend. But, Eventually like ilikuja ikajulikana ni kama the lady who ana cheat na watu. Unaona? So ni vile tu uliko mesema sorry ya cheating inakuja tuna hiyo attention kama umpe attention hizo compliments romance vitu kama hizo. Jua kiende ku nje apate mtu mwingine mwenye cause majamaa nao na kwaga tu stage wame wanangoja ile opportunity. But there's a still thing that men a man just want someone to control. Just you know, um, you you some men look at money as a source of control. Mm. That he who gives money mm. controls the relationship, and that that is up on Kuzomo Kweli. That is where the problem is. What do I go back with Sema? He who brings money on a control relationship in 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 end aje on he no kubwa end of pro end of provider. Sindi so no kubare na yomarendo. And because of up on the pali. I don't have control over her. She will cheat on me. So you have to be careful. Jaya, you make a career because you have no money. That's automatic. That's so automatic. So it's about control. That's automatic because when you could listen, if 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 a woman takes care of you in every way, if she tells you do something, even if if she tells us to do something, mm. it will be hard for you to not do that thing. Okay, but, because, but 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 where, 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 when you give her money, so you want to control her? Mm -hmm. uh, because here we are looking at a woman who gives you money. You're saying I can a pesa she at a combo fanya kisu na utafanya. Save you. It's it's an example. I'm saying yeah. that if a woman is control if if a woman is providing for the family, yes, it's hard for you to not. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now it's hard, mm. but now. If the roles were were reversed, na ilikuwa ni wewe unampatia pesa, si ungependa e afanya kila kitu mo na abaya unataka kusabu wewe ni manau meonyo. But you won't be commanding, and again, you see, as a man, you still have that authority in you. You you still have that authority in you. Okay, you know, first, in fact, the the previous point that you said there on cheating, it's like you didn't you didn't understand what I was trying to say. You see, what I was trying to mean is that once you can't provide because definitely you 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 can't provide for her for the kids if you have kids or if it's a relationship if it's a marriage you can't provide you can't make the marriage stand not unless by the sweet words and everything man there's more than those words okay there's more than those words mm -hmm. and a large percentage of these people who are in such situation most of them reach a point and they are fed up of it this women okay they mm. become fed up of it and they lose control or rather lose balance and they at times they may sit they may sit somewhere have a meeting with themselves and then say this man i've been with him all these years he's done nothing for me he's never taken me to date you know you know you know you know ladies ladies are very very fragile let me say mm. okay they they would like to be handled with care you see and what 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 makes you be able to handle them with that care it's also showing how you love them by buying them one some stuffs make taking them out and everything okay but you don't do the you don't you don't do that she understands you the first year the second year all those years that you've been together and then it reaches a point and takes an example it puts herself in a friend's shoes who knows she's in a better life mm. you see so and she 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 will end up leaving you because you know you've you're, you're yeah. not giving her the attention she yeah, wants because come to think of it the lady she's beautiful well figured and, and everything she deserves much better but you can't provide for her 
you see all right she ends up leaving you or cheating you and if she's going to stay with you then that will be out of sympathy you see mm-hmm. but again don't get me wrong i'm not saying everyone but some of them who are normally in such situations mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. all right um l- 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 let's talk about the family aspect of uh, this particular issue um will uh, you have a problem when your in-laws see that your wife is providing for you because you are under her care that's a very big problem and more than embarrassment to mm. yourself mm. okay especially to the to the in-laws to your in-laws you see in fact some of these some of these people will end up uh, discouraging your your wife or rather your girlfriend by telling him or by telling her I'm sorry by telling her so what are you in this relationship are you the man of the relationship you see mm. so that's that's total disgrace all right uh, let me come what, what do you think your in-laws your mother in law knows your wife is uh, uh, a breadwinner <laughs> mother in law kwanza unajua mother in law itakuwa mbaya sana eh cause first of all wata try kumpatia vitu kama ile kumchocha unaona kila time alikuwa anamwambia wewe kwani unakaa na huyu unakaa na huyu jamaa huyu jamaa kwani like haizi shughulika haizi mm. piga like wata wata mpea zile nini story tu mingi za kumu, za ku try kumwambia wewe achana na huyu mtu unaona cause in laws in laws pia most in laws wana wana kwa fact ile ina contribute kwa nini marriages mingi zinaharibika so hey, imagine uko umewa madam ako na do and then uh, first of all kitu kitu mambo na kulipa dowry mm our in laws wata maybe watakuwa wanahitaji dowry ile yenye uwezi afford so kitu kama hiyo inaweza kwa ni See my region is an in in Zakasan I, 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 I love the fact that uh, you've brought in the aspect of dowry yeah. when a man cannot provide and it mm. is a woman who has the money mm. how do you handle that part of dowry there when a man cannot provide mm. it is a woman who provides mm. how do you handle the part of dowry <laughs> so na hiyo itakuwa tricky like itabidi the man ajitume mm. cuz una imagine our in-laws maybe wanataka dowry yenye hii familia ya jamaa waezi afford So no itakuwa situation ngumu sana. Hmm? Cuz our in-laws wako in a certain class. We maybe ni jamaa tu wa mtaa, jamaa wa mahasling nini nini, but our in-laws class yao iko juu juu yako. Mm. So hapo marriage kama hiyo like iko means asema like ina future. Ndio maana mara so mingi tuna nayo. Eh, mara mingi tunaambiwa gwa <laughs> tafuta mtu wa class yako, unaona? Yeah. But regardless of class mm. Dowry is still expensive regardless eh, of class. Eh, Dowry ni expensive but unaona ukitafuta mtu wa class yako uh. like the in-laws if mko the same class watakuelewa. Cuz dowry pia na kwa mambo na kunegotiate alafu maybe unapata a period of time una. Yeah, let's say you're the same class. Mm. You don't have the money, mm. she has the money. Mm. How do you pay the dowry? How do you get it? I think so that dowry na kujaza ni story ya mwanaume kujikaza. Hapo nao lazima ujikaze. All right. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> Thought, uh, 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 about mambo ya dowry. How unafanya vipi hapo? And you are under her care. Now you see when it reaches a point that you guys want to get married. Mm. People okay, people who make the correct decisions get married to each other at the right time. Okay? where they without rushing into things because personally as a man I wouldn't want to 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 start to start to start a marriage when I'm not financially stable you see mm. because how am I going to pay for my for 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 for, for her dowry how am I going to handle the family how am I going to bring up the children and everything you see so I only I, I will only get married if I'm financially stable so personally me me kama ni mari nafika mwanamke anani push push to one and then me najua mwenyewe mfuko si 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 uko sawa na mimi naomba babe hapa let's just pause unapata because hakuna vile i will loan you the money because hapo itakuwa unajioa unapata because <laughs> unajioa una una, 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 because una. yeah that's why hata <laughs> ukiingia kwa relationship 
this lady you won't have like how you she no you know as, as far as you're all you're all of the same you 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 love each other and mm. you're supposed to some class the same no 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 i'm not talking of the class but mm. the, uh, let me say me yani no none no one of you subject subjected to the other mm. but deep inside we know that the lady anaposo si ni kweli kwa subjected kwa mwanamke mwanaume kwa mme wake si ndio like kumheshimu na kumpenda so if akikulon pesa da da and then mwinge kwa ndoa there's some things what i say about kwanza kwa kwamba kwanza hata uko au uko nitolea mahari unaniambia weka nani unaona maybe at times she comes home late babe umetoka up itakusaidiaje unapigwa mastop uje ipokea tena mpaka dio unauliza umeingia umeingia katika ndoa ama umeshikwa na ndoa na unapata acha ni kuza swali um unadhani mwanamke akipata pesa anazatangazia watu ah let me tell you something sasa okay let me let me know let me know tell you what's true one of the main reason that I would even tell our viewers not kwanza wanaume actually you should stand up as a man make sure at least at a kama your your girl providing you so bringing something home you see because once you guys split up break Mm. Some of these ladies some of these ladies are going to are going to destroy your reputation for good okay they're going to be speaking all of all bad things about you not all but some of them because they they will even speak of even petty things but when you to skata and say ma uyo ata the inner is that is wearing mental limonolia ah you ni kuaribia jina kabisa okay we boy imagine mtu anakuja anakuja paka anafika hii situation akwambia anaambia watu kwamba yeye alikunulia hata nguo zako za ndani hiyo si naibu kubwa sana unapata that's that's that that's that's very embarrassing so that Mhm. Ebu nana kuhusu alafu tuangalie social media au nasema nini pale kwenye Facebook. Kuhusu kama madama ni zatangaza. Atangaze. Sema ah si ni mimi ndo nilimtengeneza. Mimi ndo nilimnunulia hii. Unajua hiyo kutangaza nayo lazima atatangaza. Unajua kwanza sasa shida inakuja kama mkikosana. Unaona mkikosana maybe mko mtaa mmekosana. Si unajua women women si wale watu wa kunyamazia kitu ndani. Sasa itabidi if Madama na kuprovidea wewe itabidi like itabidi kuwe mpole sana on a lot of things. Eh. Uh, Usijaribu ku, kujitaka kujipala ina confrontation na eh, sababu <coughs> huyu madam ile time maybe mnagombana. Hizi siri zote sasa ndio atazitangaza sasa atana kusema oh huyu jamani limbaia nini? Limbaia nini? Unaona vitu kama hizo. So right. if a woman is providing for you inabidi wewe ma, mwanaume umekuwa mpole sana. Hata ikufanyia kitu yote tu umetulia. All right, let's yeah. head, let's head over to Facebook and see what you guys are saying uh, and of course uh, sample your feedback just a few because I'm seeing so many comments I may not be able to read all of them but let me just sample a few that I uh, as much as I can. Okay? So ara kama ya soma jina lako uh uniwe ra uniwe ra HRS Janet Michael Janet. Ah na kuona Janet kumbe uko. Sasa we have kwa ni yeye ni mwanamke. Men should hustle for their families. Period. Hey, Janet. Ah, lapa. Hey, this. Kuzvaz lapa porit. That's the name. And as a matter, makes some makes some take for granted the love, forget the place as a man, and finally breaks the woman's heart and enter the cycle of imaginary love. All right, Brayden Paul and some women will strongly say no and give names to such men, but that's their woman no more. That's their normal lifestyle. Uh -huh. Maureen Wamboro and some hatunanga pesa sisi. Wanawake. Presenter Steve Shanti, enye wanawake pesa watu. Asa anasema acha maswali mengi bwana. Ude mako wapi? Tuongelele kitu tangible, uh, kitu visible, kitu real yani. Ah, <laughs> uh, Jipendo uh, anasema uh, hashtag in the morning ukizoesha mwanaume na pesa ata divert feeling zake zote kwa pesa zako than kukupenda wewe. 
mnasikia maneno ndo nimeka kama mnakubali na hizo vitu uh, mchina mkadi anasema ukipewa pesa na dem matusi ndio itafara the next day Priska Jipeno anasema good morning mimi sikubaliani si, 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 si na hii swala mwanamke anampa mume au boy wake pesa labda amnunulie hiyo hana but asimpe pesa alright mwana falsafa huru mwana falsafa huru anasema any man being fed by a woman is doomed Men should learn to hustle on their own Mayaka Francis if the man is totally incapacitated ni sawa alright Uh -huh, we have uh, Mishi Mohammed anasema oh ulisikia wapi kwani mimi ni mama <laughs> yake <laughs> anasema am i your mother all right uh, Jora Matola anasema kampo kampo boy following the show thank you so much uh, Jora Dantella Didante anasema ni part of love Allah all right uh, Uluwacha Abdullahi anasema watching from Siaya County number 041 oh my goodness but we can't judge mapenzi is here na as long as um adem ana huo uwezo then let her find the boyfriend enzi za pesa na mwanaume ni ya watu wote kwa nyumba na za mwanamke ni za kivyake zilipitwa na wakati Adimilo Kingori wa Manguba anasema kupewa dogs kila siku hiyo si poa but kupewa do na dem na dem si mbaya kupewa kila siku hiyo ni kuonyesha pia wewe mwanaume uko na kasoro and you need to go to the to a mental health facility alright Julius Mayana anasema yeah iko sawa pia kama ana make effort na kutafuta yake but ukipata nafasi ya kujitoa kwa poverty take it mbona uteseke na hiyo in your way out live a good life hey alright wengine wanasema ah oh, he is not a man uh, Cecilia Fever anasema is he not a human being akikosa apewe pia mm -hmm. ati Evans Juma anasema sipo a men men were hustle on their own wow these comments are so many but uh, yeah let me just leave it at that point let me give you time to comment ku, kwa kwa hizo ninza nimesikia so far let me start with the nine kwa mic ah uh, uh, oh yeah yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what do you think about the things that amesema pale kwenye mtandao Uh, kuna mwenye amesema hapo ati au pia ni wanadamu okay like kuprovidiwa simba vile tu nilikuwa nimesema kuprovidiwa mm. simba but is cool like isiende to an extent that <coughs> unapata <coughs> uja jamaa pia na take advantage unaona mm. kuna wanaume wanajua ku take advantage sana na si wanaume peke yake like hii ni human nature wanapata anga mtu Wanzu sha pata ule mtu anaweza kukupatia kitu. Mm. Wesa like una take advantage. Unaona ah huyu mtu si ni mraisi nikimwitisha do fulani ananipatia. Alright. Inakuwa sasa ni kauna manipulate mtu. Sasa una take to advantage cause atatoa, sutamwitisha right. atatoa, utamwitisha atakupatia. Ah, comment kwa kitu vitu wote wamesema kwenye kwenye Facebook na kuna jamaa mmoja amesema matoke. Haste Godwin's Godfrey anasema acheni wivu. Yawa yani hatuwezi pewa pesa na be uh, sasa nini kitu kutangaza <laughs> right comment here. okay you see some 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 of those who have commented haven't understood the topic of today is that entirely under the woman's care entirely you know, those who those who are who, who are supporting it ni wenye wanadhani it's like a one time thing a one time thing yes huh? mm. but just to tell them that it's entirely like kwamba mwanamke ako chini yako kabisa au uko chini ya mwanamke anaku anaku handle in everything you see so that, that that that's that's not good in fact it's not healthy for you as a man you see do you know how not not saying about psychological health or physical health but your health as a man you know all right. you you happen to be more of a boy than a man all right you see because if the lady is providing for you each and every day all your needs completely mm. ata socks ata ata like kitu yote ya nyumba yeye ndio ana provide so it makes you become a lazy man because it makes you become a lazy man thank See? you so much that is Dennis Mashari asante sana and of course to my far uh, right Simon Imbugwa asante sana thank you so much for joining me today mm. uh, nashukuru and of course that brings us to the end lazima tuachie hapo hivi because muda umetupa nini so <laughs>
Asana sana. That brings us to the end of uh, this morning conversation right here on Why in the Morning. Keep talking to us, keep engaging with us, and of course, uh, that brings us to the end of the whole show uh, right here on Y254. On behalf of everybody, everybody that ensured this show was a success, thank you so much. God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. My name is Ram Aguko. This is Why in the Morning. <laughs>